Yo, what's up guys, Jay here, come back at you guys with another video. Now in today's video guys, we've got the best settings to make your game pop on Call of Duty Warzone. Now for the example in this video, we'll be over on the PS5, but you can also use these tips for your console and PC. If you do go on to enjoy the video, please leave a like on the video, subscribe if you're new, and turn notifications on if you don't want to miss out on a future video. Without further ado, let's jump straight into this. So we're over here on the menu again. Now what we're going to do, our last video was actually on controller but this video is going to be on graphics trying to make the game look very uh what's popping so yeah let's go with this so if you've got a keyboard and mouse that will come up there for brightness i just do about 49 50 that works perfect i don't think you need to do too much with brightness to be honest uh film grain i have that on zero i don't want any grain in my game i want things to look you know as clear as possible i mean you could do that like once again it's just what works for you tool tips this doesn't matter too much but i just have it enabled why not subtitles i have them on disabled but i mean you could have to enabled i know a lot of players play with this on then you hear what like, the character's saying and whatever but i'm really not fussed about any of that english obviously now here's what's interesting your colorblind type will probably be put on disabled now you can go through i've tried playing on each one but disabled just works best for me because the enemy like tags and stuff they're all red on their say multiplayer when you change to these ones they all switch color and i was getting a bit confused but for anyone that's colorblind or just wants to see a bit of difference in whatever they're doing definitely be sure to mess around with these i can't tell you exactly what one to use you just have to kind of choose for yourself see what's working for you world motion blur now please 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 disable this you do not want this on especially if you're playing warzone the game looks more clean if you have it enabled to be honest in my opinion but you need this off because if you're like going around and you're moving about and there's enemies over there but you can't even see them because they're blurred you're dead all right you're getting car 98k to the head so make sure you've got that disabled weapon motion blur disabled again very easy now here i have this enabled obviously you can go into advanced here and change things down i don't mess about with any of that i'm all good with it just leaving it like that mini map you want a square um if you have it as a circle obviously as you can see you actually see less of the map so if you have it as square you see more that's what you want mini map rotation enabled of course you want this on now the compass setting is what you go for i put letters on because uh, obviously i used to play fortnite a lot and it would be like West 256 or blah blah blah. I've just kind of got used to that. That's what me and my mates play on. It works for us. That's what you should probably play on as well. Text chat, I have it off. I don't want text chat in my game. Now all these settings here are just kind of what you do. Obviously text chat and stuff. I'm not really fussed about these things. Now all these ones here, you just choose whatever you want. I'm not really messing about with any of these settings at the bottom just there. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Stay posted on the channel if you don't want to miss out on any future videos. Anyone that's interested in Warzone, we've got a lot of Warzone videos on the way. But anyways, thank you so much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.